We will learn all the relevant medical information about stroke or cerebrovascular accident in this video. A stroke occurs when the blood supply to a portion of the brain is interrupted. It is a serious, perhaps fatal medical illness. A stroke is a medical emergency that requires prompt attention. The likelihood of permanent damage is decreased the faster a person receives treatment for a stroke. Cerebrovascular strokes come in two types, ischemic strokes, which are brought on by blood vessel obstruction, and hemorrhagic strokes, which are brought on by blood vessel rupture. Both kinds of strokes deprive a portion of the brain of blood and oxygen, which results in the death of brain cells. The most frequent type of stroke, known as an ischemic stroke, is brought on when a blood clot obstructs a blood vessel, preventing blood and oxygen from reaching a portion of the brain. One of two things can lead to this. A blood clot that originates elsewhere in your body and lodges in a blood vessel in your brain is one way to have an embolic stroke. A thrombotic stroke, on the other hand, happens when a blood clot develops in a brain blood vessel. A hemorrhagic stroke happens when a blood vessel bursts or hemorrhages and blocks the flow of blood to a portion of the brain. Any blood artery in the brain or the membrane covering the brain may have a hemorrhage. Another related illness known as a transient ischemic attack causes a brief interruption in the blood supply to the brain. A mini stroke results from this, which might last a few minutes or last up to 24 hours. A transient ischemic attack is frequently an indicator that you are soon to experience a complete stroke. The main risk factors for cerebrovascular stroke are high blood pressure, diabetes mellitus, high cholesterol, atherosclerosis, smoking, drinking, coagulation problems, and irregular heartbeats. What signs or symptoms point to a cerebrovascular accident or stroke? Depending on where in the brain the stroke has occurred, the symptoms of a cerebrovascular accident can change. Symptoms typically start off mild and unexpectedly, but might worsen with time. The more quickly you can be diagnosed with a stroke and begin receiving treatment, the better. It is crucial to comprehend and identify the signs of a stroke because of this. Stroke symptoms include difficulty speaking or walking, numbness or paralysis in the face, arms or legs, usually on only one side of the body, impaired vision, and a sudden headache. The word fast can be used to recall the primary stroke symptoms. If you see any of these symptoms, dial 999 right away. The letters F, A, S, and T stand for face, arms, speech, and time manifestations, respectively. How is a cerebrovascular stroke diagnosed? Once you check into the hospital, things will move rapidly. The hospital emergency staff tries to identify the sort of stroke you are experiencing. Blood tests could be necessary to evaluate your blood's ability to clot quickly, your blood sugar levels, whether you have an infection, and whether you have dyslipidemia. A computerized tomography, or CT scan, can detect brain tumors, ischemic strokes, bleeding in the brain, and other diseases. In a procedure known as computerized tomography and geography, doctors may inject a dye into your bloodstream to view the blood vessels in your neck and brain in better detail. A more precise image of the brain is produced using magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. An MRI can identify brain hemorrhage and ischemic stroke damage to the brain tissue. How to manage a cerebrovascular stroke? Whether you are having an ischemic stroke or a hemorrhagic stroke will determine whether you need emergency treatment. Doctors need to swiftly reintroduce blood flow to the brain in order to treat an ischemic stroke. Emergency endovascular procedures or IV medicines may be used for this. A clot-busting medication must be administered within 4.5 hours of the onset of symptoms. The sooner these medications are administered, the better. Through the intravenous administration of this medication, which is known as thrombolysis, blood flow is restored. It is crucial to perform a brain scan to confirm the diagnosis of an ischemic stroke before beginning thrombolysis. This is due to the possibility that the medication could worsen hemorrhagic stroke-related bleeding. Doctors can use a device connected to a catheter to directly remove the blood clot from the blocked blood vessel in the brain if the patient arrives after the first 4.5 hours or if the blood clot is huge and cannot be entirely broken up with medication. The only big blood vessels in the brain can be used for this thrombectomy procedure. The primary goals of emergency hemorrhagic stroke care are to stop the bleeding and ease the pressure that the extra fluid is putting on the brain. Both medicine and surgery are options for achieving this. What about stroke recovery and rehabilitation? After receiving emergency care, you will be closely watched for at least a day. Following that, 
Stroke Care is geared at assisting you in regaining as much function and your ability to live independently. The area of the brain affected by the stroke and the degree of tissue damage determine the stroke's effects. Your movement and sensation on your left side of the body may be compromised, if the right side of your brain was impacted by the stroke. Your right side mobility and sensation may be compromised, if the stroke damaged the brain tissue on the left side of the brain. Speech and language problems could result from left side brain injury. Based on factors such as your age general health and the extent of your stroke disability, your doctor will propose the most demanding rehabilitation program you can handle. You might start your rehabilitation before you leave the hospital. You could carry on with your program in any hospital's rehabilitation facility after being released. In the end, if you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Goodbye!